Kenneth McFarlane, the Dean of American Speakers, who was certainly one of my heroes, said it best. If you're addressing an audience, say something of interest to you and your audience. Say it well and stop. And when you have finished, your audience should be able to answer the question, what are you saying and how do you know it? Welcome to Create Your Keynote. Powerful presentations, whoever your audience is, whether it's formal or informal, need certain ingredients. Scintillating content, that is saying something that is interesting. A strong structure. The structure helps you remember it and also the audience. One of the questions we frequently get is, how do I remember my speech? If it is not well structured, it will be a lot more complicated to remember it. Specific scripting, certainly at the beginning, at the end. We are always going to be the most nervous at the beginning. And I have many corporate clients who know this speech inside out. When they're in my office, when they're walking with their spouses, when they're on the treadmill or driving to work. And then I say, before you go to your big audience, let's go and run it through 20 of your employees. And one of my first clients I talked about yesterday, he knew that so well, he walked out blank. This is why rehearsing by yourself is great. Rehearsing for a target audience or even a support group is a great prep for going live. Start and close with an impact. The opening 30 seconds and the last 30 seconds are very important. It sets the flavor and closes on a high. Your stories have to be memorable, and there are plenty of sessions at Lady and the Champs and everywhere on stories. A keynote speech is probably known for having good examples. A keynote speech introduces ideas at a higher level of abstraction. You have a learning principle tied with a story. In a breakout session or a training session or a two-day course, you are, of course, driving deeper. You have to have the discipline to deliver it dynamically, which means Build rehearsal into your everyday life. When you're walking, when you're driving, at the dinner table. If you want your presentation to sound conversational, practice it conversationally. And often with my speaker friends, at the dinner table, I'll say, do you use that story in your seminars? No. The stories that you entertain your friends with at the dinner table need to go in your presentation. You will find many business professionals and speakers, they are much more entertaining with their friends than they ever are in front of an audience. A speech is not a conversation. It needs to sound conversational, however more tightly, specifically scripted. For example, in a conversation, we are going back and forth. Nothing is planned. I don't know what Walt's going to ask me. I don't know what example I'm going to give. This isn't planned. And when it is a conversation, you say words like things and non-specific. Your sentences are too long. You start sentences you don't finish. You use that horrible sloppy language, which I don't even in casual conversation, but people do a bunch of this or, or gobs of that. This is not performance language. So what we take is the conversational style However, edited, more specific. Shorter sentences and phrases. You speak more in a rhythm, and of course you pause 
to let people laugh or think. As counterintuitive as it sounds, you actually connect to your audience more when you pause. That is when they have the chance to internalize what they heard. The three key elements in any presentation of any sort, formal, informal, when your audience is five or 5,000, that is, of course, the content, what it is you are discussing, your expertise, your life experience. The structure, the simple structure of how you put it together. And you hear a lot about the, the champs talking about the Fripp speech structure. Now, I promise you, most presentation books will talk about organizing your speech. I had just never seen a diagram before, so we created it. And then, of course, there's the delivery. Many of my clients, all speakers, say, Fripp, I've got my speech. I just want you to work on my delivery. To which I say, why would you want to perfect a poorly structured, badly scripted presentation? So perhaps you are getting $15,000. Perhaps you are the best leader in your company. Let us, before we work on your delivery, just look at how do you structure, what are you now saying? If it's perfect, that's fine. However, I have never found anybody of any level, including Hall of Fame keynote speakers and top business presenters, that we did not rework this structure and scripting before. And when you have a logical structure, when you can hold the overview of what your speech looks like in your mind, the delivery will be easier. The idea is you know it so well you can forget it and then you can focus on the audience. When you know the structure, if you are in a circumstance, for example, senior management, they do not ask questions the way you might say an audience, I would invite your questions after we've been through the content. Senior management ask you whenever they want to. You need to always be able to go back to where you were. And you also need, especially if you are interactive in a relatively short session as this is, you need to know where you are in your presentation so that you can say, we need to now continue, otherwise you're not going to finish. You develop a speech. This is my very creative friend, Brian Walter. And he says, you, de you develop a speech. Yes, you're going to sit down at some point and put all your thoughts into a logical structure and start rehearsing. However, you're always getting ideas. And when people ask, Fripp, how long does it take you to create your keynote? Well. You might have been thinking about it, noodling, working through ideas, taking notes, collecting ideas for months. And then you sit down and put it together. So it is really difficult to say how long you spend on it. Is it a new speech? Are you adapting or personalizing a presentation that you've given before? However you start, if this is going to be either a content speech or a motivational speech or a life speech, always start at the beginning. And what I talk about is start with a once upon a time technique. That is because every fairy story always starts with once upon a time. Start at the beginning. Yesterday's keynote speech, this was exactly what I did. I started at the beginning Childhood, basic habits, values. Then come to America. 
How the hairdresser slowly went to Dale Carnegie, Toastmaster, got an interest at speaking. Then when you are getting more serious and your focus and learning from the experts and the coaches. Now, can you see the speech structure was a timeline. Act one in Fripp's life. Act two in Fripp's life. Act three in Fripp's life. Now, when you deliver this, just as with a movie, you can start at the beginning, you can start in the middle, you can start at the end. You see all these approaches in movies, you can with your speech. However, when you are developing it, you always start with a timeline. You don't have to put every part in However, you do have to have more content to pick from than you have time to give. What would it mean to you, your career, your company, if every time you stood up in front of 5, 50 or 500, in a boardroom, training center or convention hall, if you were confident, you were powerful, persuasive, professional, compelling on message and a resounding success. If you want to accelerate your career, transform sales results, develop leadership skills, or even become an in-demand, highly paid professional speaker, then FRIP Virtual Training is designed for you. FRIP VT Powerful Persuasive Presentations is my highly interactive, learn at your own pace virtual training around all area of presentations. It is almost as if I am there, sitting next to you, helping. FRIP Virtual Training is a multi-million dollar, state-of-the-art, web-based training platform. It is designed to closely emulate personal training and coaching. It's almost as if I am sitting with you 24-7 as your own personal speech coach and sales trainer. Sign up now, take a free trial, and experience three of our content-rich chapters. Then join and take advantage of my 30 plus years experience and in-depth study. Make the commitment to your career. Reap the benefits of Fripp VT by making it consistent part of your personal development. You'll be glad you did.